So today I want to talk about the human arm. These are the main bones that we're trying to understand. There's two arms obviously in the forearm and you know, I'm going to get my hand over here. It's like when your arm does this, you got one bone that's rotating over the other bone. You know, and you can feel it in your own arm when you're doing that and understanding that you have, you know, the ulna, right, which is the one on the bottom, the bigger one, and the radius, right, because it because it moves on rotation, moves over the ulna, basically. Like, here's a deltoid, right, here's a bicep. This is a forearm, here's a hand, right, palm up, right, so here's the guy's chest. The guy's looking at us and he's palm up, right. You know, you have the ulna sitting here. Here's the ulna, and the radius is sitting here parallel to it. So this is ulna, and this is radius. Now, when you flip your hand over this way, this radius bone goes over top the ulna, right? So if we draw this again, you know, here's bicep. Now we have something that looks more like this. All right now, I flip the hand. You know, the ulna is still sitting in here, like so. The radius is moved over and crossed over like this, right? So you've got this like X of bones, you know, looking through this X-ray of the arm. So the radius is finally like moved over to this side. This is this is now the radius and this is the ulna. So that's one of the things to, you know, just keep in mind in the anatomy of the arm and how the forearm basically works relative to the upper arm. So, you know, it's a great thing when you're drawing to understand then why, you know, when you're actually like drawing the figure, So when you're drawing the figure, when you have these forearm flexors, these muscles here, you know, and all this stuff starts to sweep its way like across the top of the forearm from like let's say the left side to the right side, right? It's going this way. You'll understand it's going that way because the radius is here, right? It's right here. And the ulna right there, right? And all the muscles now are twisting over top of the forearm to get to the other side due to the rotation of those two bones, right? The overlap of those two bones. That's why when your hand is facing you, right, if you put your hand up to your face and you run your hands like this, you know, over your forearm, you can feel the flatness of the musculature, right? It feels more parallel, it's flatter. And as soon as you do this, right, and you turn your hand away from you, you could feel the roundness and sort of thickness of your arm. And if you go to the other side of your arm right here, you know, you're going to feel how the muscles on the top of your forearm follow basically this position right here. They're going like this. They're coming across from here and like going across down to the inside thumb side of your arm. That's what's happening in this drawing, right? You know, and the ulna here is like cutting all the way across from there to there. And, you know, we'll talk about all this anatomy in a second. But, you know, all this stuff is moving along and across and over and something like that. which is really awesome. I'd say one of my favorite parts of the human body to draw, if it's the right person, the right model. So just like I said, it's a really dynamic area of the human body.